Hey, Puppy Trains! I wanted to do a video analysis update of the stock market. We're going to talk about the NASDAQ, Apple, Tesla, NVIDIA, and Facebook in the short term and talk about why I'm expecting uh, they will go on a fifth wave higher from this March uh, fifth low. We're also going to zoom out of this March fifth low, talk about the bigger picture uh, in the stock market, okay? And then we're going to zoom out even further beyond that and talk about the, you know, the real long-term picture in the market, okay? So this is... Uh, an A, B, C correction that the NASDAQ forms in March, okay? And from that A, B, C correction low, we go on a wave one and have an A, B, C wave two correction. And then we go on a third wave higher that is confirmed to be a third wave because it goes to the 161.8% extension of wave one, okay? So in Elliott wave theory, it's really important to understand not all of the waves are equal. Waves one three and five are the impulsive waves. They go with the trend, okay? The ABC wave two and wave four corrections are the counter trend waves, okay? They are not actually uh, traded. You do not short a wave two correction. You do not short a wave four correction. You have cash to buy the dip when they enter the Fibonacci retracement box, okay? For wave two, the Fibonacci retracement box is between the 50% and 61.8% retracement of wave one. For wave four, the Fibonacci retracement zone is that the 38.2% retracement of wave three is the textbook uh, wave four corrective, corrective, corrective target, okay? The 23.6% retracement of wave three is a shallow uh, wave four correction, okay? What should a wave four not do? In Elliott wave theory, a wave four should not go past the 50% retracement of wave three, and it should not go below the wave one high of 324, okay? So both of these levels right now are giving a pretty nice invalidation level. QQQ bulls do not want to see 324 broken. If 324 is not broken, it is expected that QQQ is going to bounce from between 328 to 334 to complete this wave four, and it will go on a fifth wave higher. Okay, so the minimum expectation right now is that if 324 holds as the low, QQQ uh, will complete a wave four correction from this box between 328 to 334, and it'll go on a fifth wave higher. The fifth wave is found by taking the length of wave one and placing it at the wave four low. Okay, so I'm not projecting, you know, hey, QQQ is going to go to 328 shorted. Okay, that's not the projection because that is a... Uh, ABC corrective structure. You prepare for a wave four and the shallow wave four target of 334 has already been reached. So I'm expecting that Q uh, QQQ will bounce from this box and go on a fifth wave higher. In the next four to six weeks, I expect that QQQ will go on a fifth wave higher and reach 354 so long as 324 is not broken. Okay, so I'm expecting QQQ to go about $20 higher. Um, then why... Uh, would I be, you know, talking about having a cash position uh, to buy future dips in the market? When I say cash position, I want to be very clear. I'm talking about myself personally having um, shareholdings, having leap call options that expire in several months, and also having cash to buy a dip in the future, okay? I'm not selling any long-term shareholdings um, over what we're about to talk about. And what we're about to talk about is that if we uh, zoom out from this March 5th low, there's a bigger cycle at play. Okay, so Elliott waves are fractal in nature. A five waves impulse subdivides into another impulsive wave on the larger degree. If we zoom out right now, I think that there's a pretty clear count from this 921 low, where QQQ goes on a wave one and a wave two correction. It then goes on a wave three higher and has an ABC a wave four correction that it completes in early March. So right now, if we look at the bigger picture for QQQ from this September low of 921, it is within a wave five, okay? So yes, I do expect QQQ to break above this high of 342 and go to 354. So yeah, I'm expecting QQQ to go $20 higher, but what's that gonna do? I would then be looking for an ABC correction to correct not only this rally, 
but also this large degree rally um, that we have been developing since September 21st. Okay, so that's why my current positions right now are that I am along the market through shareholdings and leap call options, but in the shorter term cycles, I have cash to buy a future dip when QQQ ends this five waves impulse from the March 5th low, okay? So how's that look on a stock like NVIDIA, okay? NVIDIA is um, a lot of evidence of what I'm saying right now, that we're looking for a fifth wave higher in the rally from uh, the March 8th low. So NVIDIA right now goes on a wave one, has an ABC correction to put in a wave two low. It then goes on a massive wave three higher, and now it is entering uh, the wave four uh, Fibonacci retracement box. Okay, so what we are expecting right now is that the 50% retracement will not be broken of wave three. Okay, that is 569. If that level is broken, then this has to be revisited that it's a wave four correction. What I expect is that 569 will not be broken uh, for NVIDIA and that we are going to go on a fifth wave higher, which is found by taking the length of wave one and placing it at the wave four low. So NVIDIA is going to bounce from this box of 588 to 611. It's going to go to the length of wave one, place it at the wave four low, and NVIDIA is going to go to 670. Okay, but what happens when NVIDIA reaches 670? Then it's uh, completing wave five, and bulls would be looking to buy an ABC correction um, in the future. Okay, let's look at another example. This is Apple, okay? So if we look at Apple right now, it is uh, forming a wave one, a wave two, a wave three, and now it is within the wave four, you know, kind of retracement zone of wave three. So the wave four retracement zone is between the 38.2 and the 23.6% retracement of wave three. How do we know that this is a wave three? We know this is a wave three because Apple has passed uh, the 161.8% extension of wave one. So here's the projection. If Apple holds above the wave one high of 127, and if it holds above the 50% retracement of wave three, which is also 127.2, then I am expecting that Apple will rally impulsively from this box of 129 to 131 and go on a fifth wave higher. Okay, that will be um, very bullish for Apple because it will confirm this is an impulsive structure. And then once this fifth wave rally ends, bulls would be looking to buy a wave two correction before Apple explodes this summer. I think what Apple has done in the shorter term is it is confirmed it's within an impulsive structure from this low. I think that lessens the likelihood that we are going to break uh, above the March low in the um, future correction that Apple bulls will look to buy before the market explodes um, higher, much higher this summer. Okay, so wave one, wave two, wave three, wave four, and then Apple is going to bounce from 129 to 131 and go on a fifth wave higher. In the next four to six weeks, Apple will go to uh, between 140 and 142 to end this five waves rally from the low in March. Right now, Bulls want to see 127.20 holds the low. Okay, when Apple ends this five wave structure, we'd be looking for a uh, correction to buy before Apple flies. Okay, let's look at Facebook right now. Facebook's a really good example of a fifth wave that is about to occur in the stock market. So I think Facebook uh, has a wave one, an ABC correction that puts in a wave two low, and then Facebook has uh, gone on the textbook wave three run to the 161.8% extension of wave one. Okay, so Facebook, very clearly to me, um, this is about as clean as it gets. We have a wave one, an ABC correction, wave two. Wave three goes to exactly 312, and then it has a wave four correction. So the wave four correction, you know, this is very cut and dry. We don't wanna see the 50% retracement of 284 broken. We don't wanna see the wave one high of 286 broken. If those levels hold, I'm expecting that Facebook We'll have an impulsive rally from this box between 292 and 301 and go on a fifth wave higher, okay? It'll go the length of wave one, place it the wave four low, and then Facebook will go to 337. What happens when Facebook reaches 337? Okay, in the next four to six weeks, that's what I expect. Facebook will reach 337 so long as 285 
is not broken. What happens when Facebook reaches that level? The same thing that happens when NVIDIA reaches that level. Okay, we're looking for uh, this five waves impulse from the low to be corrected. Okay, we're looking for this five waves impulse from the low to be corrected. We're looking for this five waves impulse from the low to be corrected. That's why on the bigger term picture, I think being long the market is fine. But not having any cash to buy a future dip is a little silly because we are correcting a wave one, two, three, four, five from this low that takes place in September. Okay? And this would be a generational buying opportunity before the NASDAQ explodes this summer. Okay? So I'm long the market with cash. I think the Chevron chart and the American Airlines chart do the best uh, way of explaining why I'm not selling any long term shareholdings. I'm not selling any leap call positions. On the bigger term view, the stock market is in, is in the, uh, the early days of this bull rally. Okay, we've been looking at the six month, the nine month, you know, the, the count from March 5th, the count from September 21st. On the 20 year chart, the bull market is very young. Okay, and if we look at Chevron, this is a very clear example. This is a wave one, a wave two, a wave three, a wave four, and a wave five, completing a large degree wave one on the largest time horizon for uh, Chevron. Then we have an ABC correction to put in a large degree wave two. So the bull market is young in the, you know, the five year, the three year, you know, the 10 year time horizons. Phase, uh, Chevron puts in a wave two low in March of 2020 that is generational. So it's going to explode in the coming years. Okay, American Airlines is also going to explode in the coming years. This is the largest time frame of American Airlines. The wave one, wave two, wave one, wave two completes a massive Elliott wave next. And American Airlines, at minimum, is going to 65 in the coming years. Okay, so the bull market is very young if the time horizon is measured in years. If we're looking at the shorter term picture of the market right now, we are within, in my opinion, a wave five from the September 21st low. We are also within a wave five from the March 5th low, or we're about to begin a wave five from the March 5th low. We're currently completing wave four. Okay, so Apple right now, I'm expecting it is completing wave four in this 129, 131 box. It's going to go on a fifth wave higher. NVIDIA is completing wave four in this 588, three, uh, 611 box. It's going to go on a fifth wave higher. Okay, Facebook is completing a wave four between 292 and 301. It's going to go on a fifth wave higher. Once those fifth wave targets are reached, we'd be looking for this whole cycle from the March low to correct. Okay, and if we look at uh, Tesla right now, very similar story. Tesla, uh, however, has not yet reached the 161.8% extension of wave one. Okay, so we're still waiting on Tesla to reach 828 and confirm uh, that this is an impulsive structure from this low. Okay, I think the NASDAQ, Apple, Facebook, and Chevron, you know, we have a, enough evidence from Tesla's neighbors that it is going to have an impulsive rally higher. Okay, what I'm expecting Tesla to do is so long as this low of 667 holds, Tesla is within a wave three from the March low, and it is going to go to the 161.8% extension of wave one. So 667 holds is the low. That The next stop for Tesla is about 828. From there, we'd be looking for a shallow wave four correction before Tesla uh, goes on a fifth wave higher to 910. For now, we want to see 667 hold. If that holds in the next four to six weeks, I think Tesla is going to go to 828, consolidate sideways, and then go on a fifth wave higher. Okay, From there, we would be looking to have a large rally um, from the March low, be, from, from the, uh, yeah, the March 5th low, not the March 2020 low. We'd be looking for that rally to be corrected, and then Tesla, like Apple, you know, like QQQ, like the rest of the market, would be looking for a generational uh, buying opportunity for this wave two dip. Okay, so it's all about your time horizon. Okay, 
if the if it's measured in years, the bull market is very young. Okay, if it's measured in weeks, we're probably ending a five wave structure from the March fifth, March eighth low, and we're going to be looking for the Nasdaq and uh, QQQ and all these tech stocks to correct the cycle, not only from the March 5th low, but also from the September 5th low. Okay, in the very short term, let's just keep it simple with a few numbers. I wanna see QQQ hold above 324 to confirm it's still within a wave four. And then the minimum expectation is that Apple will break above this wave three high and Nvidia will break above this wave three high and Facebook will break above this wave three high and all these stocks with QQQ will go on a fifth wave higher. So if 324 holds is the low, the minimum expectation is that in the next four to six weeks, QQQ will reach 354. From there, we'd be looking to correct this cycle from the March 5th uh, low.